Hello and welcome to the babysitters here. Today we are going to talk about spending time alone. We will read a book called Leave Me Alone and we'll discuss activities we can do when we find ourselves alone and maybe we have no one to play with. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. If you have fun today, don't forget to click subscribe in the box below so you don't miss out on anything. And don't forget to share it with your friends. Question for you. Do you enjoy spending time alone? After the past year and spending so much time with your family, you might enjoy spending some time alone. Or you might be ready to go and play with your friends. And both are perfectly fine. So here's the thing. It's okay to spend some time alone. It's also okay to want to spend some time alone. Sometimes it's when we do our best thinking and our best imagining. There's no one there to interrupt your imagination. Let's read Leave Me Alone. It's about an old woman who just wants some time alone and has a hard time finding it. Leave Me Alone by Vera Brosgall, courtesy Boring Brook Press. Once there was an old woman. She lived in a small village in a small house with a very big family. Winter was coming. That meant she had some very important knitting to do, but it wasn't getting done. Her grandchildren were very curious about her knitting. Were you supposed to hit the ball with a stick? Could you eat it? Could you make your brother eat it? Why did the ball get smaller and smaller as you chased it? The old woman was at the end of her rope. So she made her bed as neatly as she could. She swept the floorboards until they more or less shone. She drank tea from her samovar. She packed up her things in a big sack and as she left, she shouted back, leave me alone. The old woman walked through the deep, dark forest. She made a fire so that she could see what she was doing. Then she sat down and began to knit. The bear family was very curious about the light from her fire and about what she might taste like. Leave me alone, the old woman shouted, but they didn't listen because bears don't speak English. So she picked up her sack and left. The old woman climbed up the mountainside. It was cold, so she found a small sheltered place. Then she sat down and began to knit. The mountain goats were excited to have a visitor, especially one that brought snacks. Leave me alone, the old woman shouted. But the goats were too busy fighting over the red ones, which they all agreed were the best. So she picked up her sack and left. The old woman climbed higher and higher up the mountain. She reached the top and climbed onto the moon. She found a rock that was shaped like a chair. She sat down and began to knit. The little green moon men had never seen a woman before, old or otherwise. They examined her with handheld scanners that went beep boop. Leave me alone, the old woman shouted but the little green moon men couldn't hear her because they didn't have any ears. So she picked up her sack and left through a wormhole. The void on the other side of the wormhole was very dark and very, very quiet. She was absolutely, completely, utterly alone. It was perfect. Soon she had no more yarn and 30 little sweaters and she was alone. So she put the 30 sweaters into her big sack. She swept the void until it was a nice matte black. She had a cup of tea from her samovar. Then she picked up the sack and left through another wormhole. 
When she came out on the other side, everything was right where she'd left it. And she didn't say a word. As you can see, it's okay to want to spend some time alone. The old woman came home feeling rested and probably had more energy and more fun spending some time with her family. What are some good alone time activities? I love to read a book or listen to an audiobook. Sometimes I dance and I shake my worries away. I'll be warned, yeah, I'll be just fine. Sometimes I go outside and take a walk or blow bubbles. <laughs> and draw on the sidewalk or the driveway with some chalk. I also enjoy coloring in my coloring book. What are some of your favorite things to do when you're alone? Those are great things to do when you're alone. I've included some links below in case you need some coloring pages if you don't have any coloring books around. And I've included some links to some free audiobooks. I had fun today, I hope you did as well, and hopefully the next time you find yourself alone, you'll enjoy it a little more. Thank you.